Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a solo hot tent overnighter in the snow. So as you guys can notice, the snow is starting to fall and we are actually forecasted for 12 inches of snow overnight. Now today I am using a DIY converted hot tent. This is a backpacking style tent that I added the stove jack to. And this is actually the very first time sleeping in the snow with a wood stove inside of it. So this is definitely gonna be awesome. And I hope we get dumped on with snow. So I do still have to add a few guidelines to the tent, get my sleeping pad set inside, as well as all of my cooking utensils. And then it's gonna be time to collect some firewood and get that bad boy roaring for a coffee, guys. So let's continue setting up and then off for firewood.
Alright guys, I've got the firewood cut and split and I'm pretty sure I've got enough for probably three nights realistically, but I like having a little extra firewood. That way if I need it, it's there. If I don't need it, I can stack it in a pile and leave it here possibly for another camping trip. So I'm just getting some things cleaned up outside of the tent right now. I'm getting my rain cover over my pack because I'm actually going to be leaving this outside for the evening where it is cold and uh, it's going to be covered in snow. I don't find that animals are usually going to bother it when it's cold in winter outside. There's no food inside of it, but I'm just going to set it right here off to the side as well as my saw because I'm not going to need that for the rest of the trip likely. So we'll get this folded down and stick it underneath the skirt of the outside of the tent. That way everything will stay nice and dry and tomorrow it won't be frozen and it'll be easy to pack up. So get this stuff squared away. I do have enough firewood in there, like I just said, for a couple of days. I'm only staying for the one night in this location, so that will be plenty for tonight. That's all squared away. It is time to get the stove burning though, so I do have all my cooking dishes inside. I've got one bottle of water that I brought with me. Of course, once it's empty, I'm going to have to go down to the lake, fill up, and then boil the water from there, but I just want to get all this stuff squared away, and uh, you guys can see it is snowing quite a bit already. We've got quite a bit of accumulation. I'm going to go around the tent, tighten up all the guy lines just to make sure it stays nice and snug. I'm going to get that wood stove loaded, get it burning, and then start on a hot cup of coffee.
Okay, so I've got my hot cup of coffee on the go right now, and as you guys can see, the snow is still coming down. It is getting dark though, so it's getting later in the evening, which means supper time is going to be very soon. So I'm going to finish up my cup of coffee here, just looking out at the lake. Beautiful view, got the fire flickering in the background. I can hear it crackling and popping every now and then. It's going to be an enjoyable night, but right now I'm going to finish my coffee, clean up my coffee area, bring out my cutting board, and start on supper before it gets dark. So cheers, guys. Beautiful lake and the snow and coffee. All right, well, it is getting late and rather dark quickly. The snow is not letting up, so it looks like we're gonna get dumped on tonight. Fingers crossed, guys. So I brought a beef sirloin steak with me, the whole steak and all. I even brought the bag, so I have to pack out the garbage, obviously. So I've got the bag for the garbage, which is a nice little touch. Uh, I'm gonna be cooking this in my frying pan over top of the wood stove. I did think about lighting a fire outside, but Ultimately, I think that would just be a waste of time. I already got all the wood processed for the stove inside. I might as well utilize that. So I've got my little titanium frying pan slash plate. Uh, I'm gonna season up the steak, get it in there and get it on top of the stove. I think I'm gonna cut it in half and then do kind of two little medallions at a time. That way the whole thing will fit in. But it is getting late guys and I am starving. So let's get this cooked up and start enjoying some food.
All right, so I've got the steak cooking away and it smells incredible in here, guys. Really, really good and I'm definitely looking forward to that. Right now what I'm doing is I brought my USB light bulb. Regular viewers, you guys have seen this all the time. Uh, just a basic light bulb, USB plug-in. I got my battery bank as well. So I'm just gonna get this plugged in and wired up just above to give some light inside of the tent because it is getting dark rather quickly out, guys. So that'll let out plenty of light, enough to see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna run this wire up above the doorway and kind of let it dangle there for now. I think that's probably sufficient amount of light right now. And then I can just tuck the battery bank down on the side inside the doorway and it'll be out of the way for now. But that steak smells incredible right now. I am super excited to crawl inside of here tonight, get changed into some comfy clothes zip the door shut and just let this area fill with heat. I can tell you guys right now, the top of the tent is totally melted, all the snow off. The heat travels up the tent and it goes all the way down. There is an inner inside of this tent as well. And despite the gap along the bottom, it actually gets very, very warm inside of this tent. Just like my other nature hike that I've converted. Just sitting in here, I can already tell the heat is circulating really, really well. So. I'll let you guys know in the morning though where this is the first overnighter with a stove in the snow in the cold and I should mention the temperatures right now are negative eight degrees Celsius and it's supposed to go down a little bit colder tonight so I'll let you guys know in the morning how my night went as far as the heat circulating around the tent but I can tell already with all the snow melting off the tent it's going to be a nice warm night in here once that door gets zipped shut so I'm going to cook my steak up and then I think I'm going to sit outside and eat it in the snow as the light kind of fades because it is coming on to nightfall right now. All right, well, while I'm still waiting for my supper to cook up, I did bring the trail camera with me, of course. And I just got to get it switched on here just to make sure that there's nothing on the memory card. And if you guys remember the last time I camped here, the tree that I put the camera on just behind, I'm going to put it on the same tree. All right, so the card's clear. We got good battery. So I am going to be setting this up this evening, and I'm going to put it on the same tree with this field of view. So if any animals do come into camp, Hopefully we'll be able to catch them. We still have not caught anything on the trail cam and I've been using it quite a bit guys Now the funny thing is when I was on my overlanding trip in Cape Breton my seven-day trip I had a coyote walk right by the truck in fresh snow just like this and it stopped snowing an hour before I got out of the truck The only footsteps up there were mine and the coyotes and then later on that day when I was driving down the road I actually saw the coyote he was right in the middle of the road, big old bushy tail just wobbling back and forth and in the woods he went. So hopefully tonight we can capture something on this. The steak is almost cooked up. As you guys can see, the snow has picked up as well. So I think we're going to get a fair amount tonight. But I'm going to go ahead and get this done right now while I'm waiting. And then as soon as this is hung and it pitched and all kind of set up and everything, supper should be ready. Okay, forget about what I just said about hanging it on the same tree. Looking at my tent, it's a, it's a bit different configured. And looking this way, I got a shot of the entire side of the tent. So I'm going to hang it on this tiny little tree, just trying to get it configured here. It is very cold out right now, and my fingers are frozen. So I'm trying to do this rather quickly so I can get my hands back in my pockets or get back into the tent and warm them up next to the stove. So I'm just going to hang this very quickly. I do have gloves with me guys, but I'm trying to hold off because I don't want them wet. 
uh, and these fingers aren't really working right now. So get this set up and then back in the tent to do a really quick warm up. And then it's going to be time to eat that steak because I am starving, absolutely starving. All right, so supper's all done, and it is definitely getting very, very cold out here right now, guys. This is not smoke. This is my breath. So it is actually getting very, very cold. It is below negative 10 degrees Celsius right now, and being outside without a campfire, it just makes sense to go inside of the tent with the wood stove. So I'm probably not going to shut the door just yet. I'll probably leave it open for a little while, but I think I am going to make my way inside of the tent just to warm up get out of this heavy wool sweater, get my boots next to the stove and start the drying out process. That way in the morning, everything will be nice and dry and I can start off fresh. So I'm gonna do a little cleanup outside, make sure I've got all my goods inside of the tent because whatever's left outside is gonna be left here tomorrow, buried in the snow somewhere. So I'm gonna do a really good look over. I'm also gonna do a tighten up of the guy lines and the tent just to make sure that everything's nice and snug overnight. And then I'm gonna jump inside. So I'll see you guys inside the tent. Alright guys, I just went around the tent. Everything is tight. Uh, the ground is getting to be quite frozen actually, so I may have to start pounding some of these pegs in with a rock if I do need to readjust them later on. But one thing I want to point out is the door is wide open. It's below a negative 10 degrees Celsius. It's right around negative 10.5, negative 11. But if you guys look really, really closely, you'll notice that the snow is not piling up on the back of the sleeping area and all of this up here is just water. It's all water and it is freezing cold outside right now. So the amount of heat that is building in this tent, even with the door wide open, is astronomical. You guys can see now that the stove is dying down, there's a little bit of snow forming on the tail end of the tent. But once I shut the door and stoke the stove, this is all going to melt off. It's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens in the morning. Give you guys a look over here. You guys can just kind of see all this water just beating off of the tent. So I may have to actually shut the door because all this water is running right into where I'm gonna be kind of coming in and out of the tent. And as the stove dies down later on this evening, because I always let a stove go out, I don't bother stoking it overnight. I've got a good winter sleeping bag and a good winter sleeping pad. So I don't need the wood stove for sleeping, but this is all gonna turn into ice and it's gonna make it a little difficult to get in and out of the tent. So I may have to actually zip the door shut when I crawl in and just kind of bang off the tent to get all this water just to run down the sides. But uh, it's definitely getting warm inside, guys. Definitely getting warm. All right, so inside of the tent right now, and it is definitely getting warm in here. I just loaded a couple pieces of wood inside of the stove, and already it's taken off really, really nicely. So I've got my boots propped up next to the wood stove and my sweater on top of the firewood. So that's kind of taking the brunt of the heat right now. So those should dry out very quickly and be ready for tomorrow morning. I do still have to get changed into my sleep clothing, which I've got over here. And I even brought my tent slippers. So I got my Baffin booties. These are a must have for lounging around in the tent in wintertime. 
I don't like to be bundled up in the sleeping bag all the time. So if I can have a wood stove and uh, basically strip down to a long sleeve shirt and get out of the big bulky clothing, I'm very happy without being bundled up in the sleeping bag until later on, of course, and then I get in, zip up, let the stove go out, and then just go off to sleep and then relight it in the morning. So I do have some snacks inside of here. I did bring some ramen noodles and uh, a couple other things in here. And uh, basically, I'm just going to have a good night in here. I got a couple movies saved on my phone, so I'm going to watch maybe two of those. And it's about 8 o'clock right now, so maybe one, one and a half movies. I don't know. I'll probably fall asleep during the second one, but uh, it's definitely cozy in here, guys. I can feel the heat just coming right over to my face, and I'm only using a mini stove. That's not even a full-size stove, so I imagine with a larger stove, it's going to get roasting in here. So next time I come out with this tent, I'll probably bring a larger stove and get it really hot. And then I'll let you guys know, of course, how much hotter it got. So I'm going to get changed out of these pants and get into my sleep clothing and uh, get my slippers on and get ready for a movie, guys. All right, well, I'm changing my base layers and I've got my tent slippers on, my little bath and booties. Definitely warm, guys. Outside of the sleeping bag, I'm not gonna crawl inside of it until later on. Uh, the heat is really, really coming right at me from that wood stove. I'm gonna enjoy this. Plus the door itself, when it zips shut, this, uh, this solid panel extends into the door. So it actually helps trap a lot of the heat and the top is mesh, of course, so it just kind of lofts all the way from head to toe, making this very comfortable. So I'm gonna start lounging now, guys. I'm just gonna relax, get the camera shut off, get it packed away, keep the batteries nice and warm. Um, I'll put those inside of my sleeping bag tonight, of course, but I do have my phone. I'm gonna turn that on and dive into a movie, have some snacks, and just relax. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning for coffee. Good night, guys.
Good morning guys. It is a beautiful snowy cold morning out here in the forest. The tent is just now starting to warm up that I've got the wood stove burning and as you guys can see the tent is totally covered in snow. So I almost slept in this morning because when I woke up it was dark inside of the tent. It's still quite dark in the sleeping area because of all of this snow and ice that is formed on the outside. So I'm going to have to bang all that off in just a few moments. The sleeping area held up really, really well, guys. I'm missing two guy lines, so I only put two guy lines on the front and two on the back, but I didn't put two on this point right here, and it actually held up really, really well, and that's without clearing the tent. When I went to sleep last night, I didn't bother clearing it off. I wanted to see how much would actually accumulate, and it looks like we got about six inches of snowfall, so it's still snowing, and it's calling for more today, so we'll see what happens but uh, right now I need a hot coffee. It is cold outside. I've got my down pants on right now because they're easy to slip on. My boots are all dry from last night. I'm sitting on my sweater right now which is totally dry from last night as well. And uh, everything went really well last night. It was super warm in here, nice and cozy, great atmosphere. I was able to reach out, load wood in, go back inside the sleeping area really really comfortable so i've got my kettle of water already on the stove i'm going to bring that up to a boil it is from the lake so it does have to be boiled thoroughly and it is time for coffee guys i gotta say i'm going to enjoy this the first legit deep snowfall of the season is officially here and we have to uh we have to enjoy a hot coffee right so i'm going to get this loaded up and make up a nice hot brew and possibly sit outside to enjoy it.
All right, well, I think winter has finally arrived, you guys. We've got plenty of snow out here. I'm super happy, super stoked about this right now. Finally got the snow. So sitting out here right now, it is negative 13 degrees Celsius. It is blistering cold with the wind coming off the lake. I can see the sun trying to poke through the clouds way out across the lake, but the cloud cover is so thick that it's not gonna be sunny today. And in fact, it's supposed to snow another six to seven inches today. So we'll see what happens later on. As you guys know, I never go out for just one night. This is actually the first of two nights. However, I'm not gonna be using the same setup. I've gotta get this packed away. I gotta hike out the trail, make it all the way back to my truck and then resupply and then head out on a different trip from there. So this is actually night number one. So there will be another night with this snow coming very soon to you guys right here on the channel. But for now, we've got the tent set up. We've got a hot cup of coffee right out on the lake, some fresh snow. This is a beautiful morning, guys. Beautiful, it's windy, it's crisp, it's cold. It's definitely winter time. So I'm gonna grab the trail camera in just a few moments. I just wanna enjoy some of my coffee before I move around a whole lot. I'm gonna get this back on the stove, get it warmed up, and then grab the trail cam. But I gotta have a couple more drinks, guys. All right, so got the trail camera, just worn my hands up briefly off my cup off the stove. So let's dive into this. Now, one thing I did last night is the snow was not actually that deep last night when I went in. So this is a total different ecosystem for the animals right now. But waking up this morning when I came out here, there were no animal tracks at all. Now I did put my leftover steak, so all the steak juice out of my frying pan and the little bits of fat that I didn't eat, I put right here in this fire pit. Now it's covered by snow and I don't see any disturbances to it. So I don't know if they would have come in and got that early and then took off in the snow, but generally when it snows like this, the animals hunker down. They don't usually do a lot of bouncing around until morning time. That's when they come out and then they go for their food and stuff like that. So I don't think we're gonna have any luck on this, but we're gonna check. So let me flick it on here to review mode. <clears throat> battery's still at 80 percent guys so that's 75 sorry it just changed to 75 battery's still at three quarters though so that is incredible uh replay so there's me with the camera there's me at nighttime. i'm just setting up the camera fiddling around uh i got some blowing streaking snow going across the camera so there's me going over to the tent standing at the tent this these are all test shots and climbing into the tent okay here we go climbing in and climbing out so climbing in for the night and climbing out in the morning time well you know what that means guys nothing came into camp nothing triggered this camera so unfortunately we have a again another bust i am having horrible luck with catching animals on this now the funny thing is i'm not sure if i mentioned this yesterday or not but when i went on my seven day overland camping trip to cape breton island I didn't bother setting up the trail cam because I was out truck camping, right? I had a coyote walk right past my truck and I actually kind of, we, we, we crossed paths as far as footprints go uh, and the snow just stopped. So we literally crossed footpaths without seeing each other. Maybe he saw me on the trail uh, and I did not bring the trail camera. So that would have been the one opportunity that I would have actually got something so far. Again, it's a bust tonight. So 
I will be using this again tonight on the separate camping trip. Again, I'm going to keep using it until we get something, guys, because sooner or later it's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, sorry, guys, bust on this trip again. But my hands are freezing, freezing cold. Uh, the lake out there, so here in Nova Scotia, our water is tea colored. So it's kind of like a tainted tea bag in a, in a pot. That's what our lake water looks like. And when the snow lands on it, the snow turns to like a yellow because it takes on that tea color. So looking out across the lake, there's probably about 200 feet off the shore that's, uh, that's starting to freeze, but it's all slush. So it's all like yellowy kind of snow, slushy looking like. And when the sun comes up a little bit and it just pokes through the clouds and shines across it, it lights it all up and it looks pretty interesting. Uh, so definitely a great view here. So no, no luck with the trail cam, but I do have a hot cup of coffee or I did have a hot cup of coffee. I'm gonna have to warm this up again and get my hands warmed up. I already did breakfast inside of the tent. I had oatmeal early, early this morning. And uh, I did that on purpose so I'd be nice and warm and fueled up before I got out because I knew it was gonna be very cold. So I'm gonna heat this up again. I have a little bit more in the pot, get this camera put away inside of the tent and uh, probably hunker in there for a few moments to warm up before I start the pack up process. All right, guys, with all the sharp edges on that stove, I've decided to actually pack the tent inside of the stuff sack. I don't want to tear anything and uh, it's snowing, it's cold and trying to get everything organized in there nice and neatly and orderly just isn't going to happen. So the stove is in the hydration sleeve. Everything's packed away nice and neatly. I've got the tent all balled up here, pegs, poles, everything. I've got enough room to slip it in there. Now I do have my pants in here from yesterday. And I'm gonna wear my down pants out down the trail while I hike back to the truck. The, the curse with these pants is once you put them on, you don't wanna take them off. That's the thing, they're so comfortable, they're so light, and I just don't feel like getting changed right now in the snow, so kinda of past that window of opportunity. So I'm gonna to have to uh, basically get changed when I make it back to my truck. But uh, I just wanna get this in here right now, get it crammed all the way in there. And the beautiful thing about this backpack is it's a multi-size backpack. It's a roll top. I can roll it to whatever size I need it to. So even though this stuff might not fit down inside as small as it was yesterday when I had time to pack at home, the backpack will still accommodate everything by rolling the top. And actually it's probably about the same size as yesterday to be honest. So yeah, it's about the same size. I can roll it down to the 40 liter mark 
and it's expandable all the way to 60 liters. So that's perfect. That works really great. So I'm just going to get this buttoned up, get the rain fly back on, and it's going to be time to hit the trail, guys. Behind me, you guys can see right where the tent was. It's, it's a pretty large area. It's a nice long tent, so there's plenty of room inside of it. And uh, it's definitely snowing again, so I'm hoping that we get that additional six inches of snow today. That will be totally epic for tonight's camp out. So that'll be a separate video. You guys know how it works here on the channel. One overnighter and then the second overnighter, two separate windows for uh, videos basically, two opportunities to watch. So I'm going to get this all buttoned up and I'm going to start hitting the trail guys. So I'm going to say goodbye to you right now. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Questions and comments down in the comment section as well as some useful links in the description for you guys to follow. Peace out and I'll catch you in the next one.